Hey guys, it's Josh Rossi. In this tutorial, what we're going to be going over is how to use the pen tool to cut out somebody for a composite and also how to feather the edges so that the person looks good inside of the composite. So, first of all, we're going to use the pen tool. So, go over here and click right there or just hit P on the keyboard. And for those of you who don't know how to use the pen tool, it's just an easy way to create a nice curve. So, you click in one spot, click in the next spot, and just drag. That's going to create a curve. Now, you want to make sure that these handles right here are facing in the direction of the next curve just like that because if they aren't and they're out like this and you click it's going to create a weird curve in any direction now to be able to move this little handle right here you just hold down option or alt and you can click and hold and move in any direction you'd like so you can adjust that easily and to move this dot over here you just hit command and you can move that around. You can see how that's manipulating the curve right there. So anyway, now the way that I cut out a person or an object for a composite is like this. A lot of people, what they do is they will, they will try to outline perfectly the person just like this. And I mean, that doesn't, you know, that's not necessarily super bad, but I'm going to show you the difference and why it's not the best way of cutting somebody out. So just like that okay something like that alright now let me show you the right way um, and the right way is basically to cut off just a little bit of the subject and see that you can see the difference of how I'm doing this I'm cutting off not too much but there just just a tiny bit and I'm just gonna finish that right there so and I'm gonna show you the difference between those two in just a second so let's say you've gone around this guy and you've you know selected everything now you want to make a selection and cut him out so all you gotta do is connect the dots so you see the little circle right there you just click in there and connect those right click and go make selection so how I usually do this is just feather this at zero a lot of people like to feather at one um, I'm just gonna feather at zero hit OK and then you go shift command I and delete oops make sure that's a layer so double click Shift Command I. Okay, awesome. So let me put a layer underneath here and show you the difference between these two ways of cutting things out. So this is the way down here that I usually do it, where I cut off how I was showing you previously how I cut off some of the subject, and it's really nice and clean. The edge is awesome. Over here, where I was trying to get the exact edge it's not really too great it's kind of you know it has this weird halo around it from the background so the easiest way the best way to cut a person out is to cut them off a little bit so just to cut in okay so now that we got that super simple that's basically the pen tool for you the next thing we're gonna be doing is feathering this edge here so that it will match up really well into the composite so originally I just feather at zero pixels and the reason for that is just that I like to keep a really sharp cut out just in case I don't know just for emergency in case something goes wrong and and I need a, a really sharp cut out of the image so that's why I do that then afterwards when I'm finished with adding all the effects and everything else what I'll do is I'll just make a copy so I have you know my my sharp image here my sharp cut out and then what I'll do is go to my uh, magic wand tool right here and just click on the outside of that and go shift command I to invert the selection and this is me just refining the edge I'm just gonna go up here and I go to a feather of 2 and I shift the edge by negative 7 which brings it in a tiny bit and then I'll just hit OK on that and then what you gotta do again is shift command I to invert one more time and then delete so you can I don't know if you can tell here, but um, when I'm deleting that, you can see that it's just really softening up that edge. And it's just barely doing it. I don't want it to be way crazy. It's just barely. Um, and I really like the edge on that. And sometimes I might feather a little bit more, a little bit less. But for me, those are pretty much the settings that I always use. So anyway, there you guys go. That is how I use the pen tool and also how I feather my images for a composite. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you again soon.